Zero Accounting Software 2023. Adjusting Entry Accrued Interest. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the company file we set up in a prior presentation. Get great guitars. Duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it. Right click in the duplicate tab to duplicate it. Back to the tab to the middle accounting drop down. We want to open the balance sheet. I'm opening the comparative balance sheet we made last time. If you don't have that, you can open the standard balance sheet. Tabbing to the right, accounting drop down. We want to open up the income statement. Again, I'm opening a comparative one. If you don't have that, you can open the standard income statement. Tab into the left, looking at the balance sheet. We're now thinking about an adjusting entry, period end adjusting entry as of the cutoff date for us, that being the end of the second month, 228. We're looking at one related to the liability account to start off with on our loan payables. Now remember, there's a couple different things that you might have to deal with with regards to the loan payables. One uh, is the fact that you might have some accrued interest that you need to record, interest that has been accumulated, which you have not yet paid. So that's the standard kind of accrual entry. That's what we'll, we'll deal with this time. Another common issue you might have is breaking out the short-term and long-term portion of the loan which you might not need if you're a sole proprietorship doing the adjusting entry for taxes because you might just need the income statement for tax reporting purposes. But if you're doing external reporting and possibly for internal needs, then you might have to break the short-term and long-term portion out. We will deal with that uh, in future presentations. Right now, we want to just think about that accrued interest concept. To do that, let's go back on it. We're gonna deal, so we're gonna deal with this 5,000 loan uh, first, and then we'll, in a future presentation, deal with the larger loan, breaking out short-term and long-term portions of it. So I'm gonna go into our Excel worksheet, and I'm gonna make another Excel worksheet. This is the amortization table for the long loan. Uh, I'm gonna create another just little amortization table for the short-term loan, and just to understand the concept of why we might need an adjusting entry for the accrued interest. Now, our entry will be fairly small in dollar amount and therefore possibly not necessary because of immateriality purposes. It's not being a large dollar amount, but uh, the concept remains the same, right? So I'm gonna hold down control and, well, actually, no, I'm just gonna add another plus button over here. And this is, I'm gonna just call this the short loan or short loan, a small loan short loan uh, and then i'm gonna i'm gonna format the entire worksheet so i'm gonna go up top into the triangle and right click on the worksheet this is my baseline formatting formatting the entire worksheet i like to work in currency and then uh, negative numbers bracketed no dollar sign and i'll keep the decimals going to say okay i'm going to make the worksheet a little bit larger by hitting the plus over here or you can hold down control and scroll up on the scroll wheel we're currently at 205 percent on the zoom in let's go a little larger i'm at <laughs> i'm at 265 all right and then in a1 i'm just going to put the terms of our loan so i'm going to imagine the terms of our loan it's a five thousand dollar loan and this by the way i'm going to make this whole thing triangle up top home tab Font group bolding the whole thing to hopefully make it a little easier to see. This is what we would get from, of course, the loan documentation, and possibly they would give us an amortization table with the loan, but maybe they wouldn't, and maybe we would have to just create our amortization table, which we can do ourselves. We can use online tools to help with the amortization table, and or we can, you know, get a CPA firm to help us build an amortization table. Months we're going to say it's just a three-month loan so it's a very short-term loan i'm going to say the rate is very large because it's a short-term loan and because i want to have a fairly significant dollar amount so i'm going to say 0 0.35 35 percent on the rate home tab number group percentifying it and then the payment that we're going to make three payments i'm going to do a payment calculation just to show you how that works to figure what the payment will be which is a useful tool if you're trying to make projections on what kind of loan you might be able to afford in the future for example i'm going to say negative pmt negative is 
possibly not the most proper way to start it, but I think it's the easiest way to start it instead of an equals. And then we have the rate. The rate is gonna be that 35%, but that's gonna be a yearly rate. And we only have three months. We're dealing with months. So I'm gonna take that and divide it by 12. That will give us the monthly rate, comma, the number of periods is gonna be three. That's in terms of months, which matches the monthly rate now. So that's good, comma, the present value is the 5,000. That's the loan amount. You could close it up or you don't really need to. I can just hit enter and we come out to a payment that we're gonna make of 1,764.82. We're gonna make three of them. Now you could try to say, okay, well, what's the total interest that we're gonna pay on this? Well, the total payments are gonna be simply, I'm gonna make this a little wider, three payments of this. So this times three, is uh, 5,294.46. So that means total interest, interest would be equal to the total payments minus the 5,000. However, we would need to break that interest out between the three payments that we're going to be making. So let's just make a little amortization table to see how this works and we can see it conceptually on a payment by payment basis. So I'm gonna make the C a little bit larger, make a skinny C, skinny C, C went on a diet. And then we're gonna say this is gonna, and the diet actually worked. What kind of diet did you do, C? I want, you could get rich with that diet, tell people how that happened. And then interest, this will be loan, I spelled that wrong, interest, interest. that E's, it's not my, the keyboard wasn't working loan reduction it's not my fault loan balance nothing's ever my fault i just you just don't understand what the real problem here's the home tab uh alignment center and then font group and we're going to hit the bucket drop down it's going to be black and white so there is the loan terms let's put a border around this home tab font group just borderize it all right so then i'm going to put the dates i'm going to make this a date column now home tab numbers let's format this in the format of a date short date and then i'm going to say this is on 2 15 2 3 and then i could say 3 15 2 3 and i'm going to copy that down using my using my fill handle so there's the payments uh, that we're going to make now we're going to say that the the loan happened on 215 so this is point zero and then we're going to say 